Mama Carter, they seen her dance with the flag. Don't 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 flag. Don't
or to destroy. So, getting back to this whole T.S. Madison, let me just throw this disclaimer out there. Sean Bradley told all of y'all to beware of S. Hutchinson. And I'm just saying that BS in reference to what you're going through with her right now. I had my own experience with her last year. And if she's honest, she would tell you she got under either Narob or Rambling Kai's uh, video and commented under me. I commented, I believe it was Rambling Kai. God bless you, Kai. This isn't to bring your name into anything. God knows I don't want my name into anything. But there is some truth on this street. That's as Hutchinson goes behind people on these YouTube streets and comments like she did to me. Oh, this girl is drama, trouble, don't trust her. And I've never done anything to that woman except I didn't kiss her ass when she came back on these YouTube streets a little over a year ago now. Maybe 10 months ago, 11 months ago. Um, there was a woman named Cher's Life who's still cool with her. We were all in the same little, you know, chats or whatever. And when S. Hutchinson came on the scene, everybody stopped speaking to me. My numbers went and grow, and I feel I was blackballed by her. And Sean Bradley told y'all not to trust her. And when this whole woman empowerment thing came along, I said in a couple of videos I was blackballed by this woman and how is she out here going hard for women's empowerment. Well it is what it is. Black women ain't never gonna get a freaking loan. Never. I mean not all of us anyway. So let's just face that and accept the reality of it. But here's my question. Which direction are you going? Are you puzzled, unsure, confused, lost, unclear? baffled about the situation because I was at first I was like who the hell is this S. Hutchinson to be coming under my post telling me I'm drama and I'm just trying to reach out to people and let them know I'm on YouTube and hey you know I've never went to anybody's page for clout for a come up for anything look at you people I wouldn't fucking take a dog bone from you even though you like to carry a bone and bring bones I'm not the one, people. I'm very selective in who I hang out with. And S. Hutchinson, there was nothing about you that made me want to come run to your page and kiss your ass. I understand YouTube etiquette. I understand etiquette, period. I'm not the one to worship people. And see, I feel when you came on the scene, that pushed VS away from me a little bit. Not that we were buddy buddies or anything. I just would go on her chat. And then when I noticed you coming into her chat and you're basically oh I'm lurking from the bushes taunting people and you know harassing people because you're in her chat and they're praising you and kissing your ass over there I fell back not to mention because of an email I had received on um, February 9th but I fell back yeah because I know which direction I'm going I know where the the end road is for me. I know where, you know, God is leading me in my life. And it damn sure wasn't on YouTube to get caught up in anybody's bullshit. But today, I noticed today that this is not about no damn chicken. It ain't no about no water. It ain't about, you know, driving. It ain't about uh, being inconvenienced. This is about drawing people into... Uh, Transgender, uh, LBGT, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Did I just confuse you with that? Because everybody under every 26 letters of the alphabet is labeled with something, people. Shit, give me a break, yo. So basically... I witnessed today when I saw ATL and Brown uh, come over into VS chat. Okay, now this is more geared toward Maddie. When Funky Don even said he was going to give the money back, it should have been like, okay, no more. I'm done with it. I got my money. I proved my point. But there's always another point and another point and another point and another point to keep proving. 
So the point I'm going to prove to you is listen to this conversation between V.S. and, and, and T.S. Madison. See how the love of fame cloud trying to prove each other wrong, right? Um, whatever the hell they want to do in these YouTube streets. I, you know, people, I don't even really want to commentate on it, but I see it's the move. I see it's the way. I did it with T.S. Madison and Kaya made a few videos. Tasha K. Lovely T made a few videos. Um, who else? Uh, Jesse Smullett. Uh, I threw some other things in there. Tasha K. Tommy Sotomayor. And now you, V.S. and T.S. Madison. Because to me, one, one, one minute it is this way. The other minute is that way. You're to and fro, roaming like the devil. Seeing he whom he can seek and devour. Seeing whom he can kill, steal, and destroy. One minute, you know, oh, people are doing good. The next minute you see him fall back into temptation. People, that's the way of the world. That's the way of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and let y'all listen to what I was able to put together. Um, I call it an exclusive interview of confusion and until we get to a point where we can talk to one another, your problems are never going to get solved. So again, I open my platform up at nine o'clock this evening for you guys to come over here and, you know, lay it all on the line. If you don't think I'm able to, uh, sit between debates or handle interviews or conversations you 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 sadly mistaken and if i can't do it i have a friend named christ and we have a father named yahweh who can do it all right so go ahead and listen to this exclusive interview of confusion which the devil is the author of confusion because first corinthians 14 tells you that God is not the author of confusion so we can see what we're playing with on these YouTube streets let me see is there anything else I want to go ahead and say about what I witnessed today oh basically these are the questions that I'm going to run by you we're going to talk about S. Hutchinson we're going to talk about T.S. Madison promoter Parker V.S. and ATL. But the question of the day is, now people were confused as to whether uh, S. Hutchinson is the CEO of the Maddie Mob and the Maddie, you know, T.S. Madison brand. And guys, reports came in today that um, they had the letters mixed up a little bit. It's kind of the OEC of the Maddie Mob. And this uh, acronym is for overly extra clout chasing commentator no disrespect to you s hutchinson but the lord said in the presence of your enemies i will make them your footstool see i never came at you fighting wanting a war with you because i always say you can't feed demons medications and i see you shake that bag of medication over there and i told you i know what battles to pick and choose some demons I am just not going to fight. I am going to call upon the li the living God, Yahweh, because he said, vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord. And a year later, after you put that comment, either Narob or it was Rambling Kai, one or the two. See, you were good friends with Narob then, how the tables have turned, right? And Ramblin' Kai never gets involved in any drama. And again, I'm not trying to pull her in. But Ramblin' Kai, if you remember that I put that post on one of your videos. This, hey, good video, something like that. I said, I commented on your video. And this woman came behind me. I went back, Ramblin' Kai. I went back looking, honey. Let me tell you. Because I know y'all like receipts. But I'm not a woman I should get on here and lie. And my father, Yahweh is not a man a, that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent and i'm not going to repent for anything i said in this video today enough is enough y'all gonna give me the respect i deserve on these youtube streets and i'm earning it rightfully so but to sit over here 
I have a 37 year old son. I have a 31 year old son this year. I have a 26 year old daughter this year. And five grandchildren. For the love of God people. Have mercy on one another. Forgive and forget. Get over it. Let it go. But what else do I want to say? No. I think this whole thing is stemming up to be. Bash T.S. Madison. Um, even Wiley. Wiley. I just want to say to you. The whole what you're doing Wiley. Let me tell you something Wiley. Wiley. The love of money is truly the root of all evil. So the Christians say. But Wiley, I'm going to tell you, evil is the root of all evil in the eyes of God, okay? See, he said you can't serve mammon and money, uh, mammon and, 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 and God. You can't, you, you, you can't do both. You're going to love the one and hate the other. And that's what I see with you, Wiley. All right? No disrespect to anybody I'm calling out tonight, but you know what? It is what it is. Y'all sit there and talk about everybody else. Somebody getting a beat. Wiley turn his camera on. Fabe turn her camera on. Damn. Until I get to 1K, I can no longer turn my camera on. But guess what? I can keep uploading my voice. I can keep premiering what I have to say. I can go live on Google Hangouts with this old crazy ass webcam I got. But people, mm -mm, we're going to talk about it. I got a question written down for VS. I have a statement for S. Hutchinson. I have a semi-defense for Maddie. And I have a question for Maddie. I have uh, comments about Promoter Parker and ATL in. Again, I just want to know why every time it's about Maddie, you jump off your platform and into other people. ATL and Brown, I just want to know why every time it's a situation with Maddie, you jump off of your platform and you go hard, right? And I, I just want to add this so everybody you know, you do Sheree Whitfield the same way because you had an affair I don't know if it was when he was married to her or not, but with Bob Whitfield. And I'm just trying to understand what kind of woman you really are. And today showed me a lot when I saw you in VS Chat going against Maddie on some, oh, well, I'm just hurt over some chicken and some water and I wasn't treated fairly to this woman bashing and bashing and bashing and bashing and bashing. And like Maddie said, you're going to hear in some of this commentary I have, it's a difference between constructive criticism and bashing people and trying to throw people under the bus and trying to sly, slick, shade, fight with somebody or embarrass somebody, you know, on the down low. Like, enough is enough. I see why people fall back from me in life. Because I'm not the one to play with. I want to be reckoned with. But see, because I'm not out here yelling and screaming, cursing people off at, out off my platform, being ignorant, loud, rude, letting everything offend me, cause me to, you know, want to argue and fight with you and have a problem with you and every everything that comes my way, I'm following over here, following over there. And I told you. When somebody got their hands in every damn pot, every argument, every circumstance, situation, they ass is stirring up something. Let me tell you, they ass is stirring up something. All right. And let me just throw this out there before I get into the commentary. Yes, VS. Yes, TS. I'm using your voice, but I distorted it. Okay. Enough of this shit. Y'all can sit out here and use commentary on everybody else. And somebody put something together on y'all. Y'all want to flag, strike, take down. Do whatever. And may the Lord be with you when you're doing it, okay? I'm not going to be afraid to sit over here and speak my mind or call anybody's name. Because I see y'all calling everybody else's name. I see the little YouTubers dragging in the big YouTubers. The big YouTubers inserting themselves into little beefs. 
I see the nitpicking. I see the 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 manipulation. I see the lies, the deceit. I see the terror on these YouTube streets. I see more fear than I do fame. I see more foolishness than I do financial stability. I see more people headed to the damn prison house, courthouses, uh, 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 order of protections, but y'all some bad ass tough, tough people? Give me a break, people. And this isn't to say to go off YouTube and fighting, but what kind of life do you really have that will lead us to the conversation between VS and T.S. Madison. Here we go, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this. God bless y'all. Please show up at 9 o'clock East Coast, somewhere like that. Um, if, if I'm not on at 9 o'clock, somebody hit up my video, remind me. You know, because sometimes I'll be like, oh, what the hell? It ain't worth talking about. It's not my problem. But you know what, guys? I'm in this community. It is becoming my problem. It, it should have been your problem a long time ago because you guys were involved in it, a part of it. Now you have somebody that's been neutral speaking out against it. And it will forever be a problem because you don't want to be done with it. And I'm speaking to everybody that's involved. Enough is enough. Let me see. What else do I want to say before I go ahead and turn it over to the exclusive interview of confusion between T.S. Madison and V.S. Oh, here goes nothing because at the end of the day, that's exactly what it is. Nothing in the eyes of God. And my eyes for that matter as well. So Jay got 
I'm disrespecting T.S. Madison by showing you guys I paid for a ticket, letting you guys know that we was, the ticket shows that everything started at 8 o'clock. How do I know a booking from a production? How do I know a booking from the production? The ticket does not say that. For clicks and views, my, 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 my clicks and views have not doubled. We are already a small force to be reckoned with. And I'm telling you, please don't flag my channel because we're going to flag back. I have many channels. I have nothing to lose. I don't make thousands and thousands of dollars off of YouTube. If my channel get flagged, we're going to flag back. And we've been very successful with getting channels down. So so I'm just, I'm, I'm, I respect the Maddie Mob. Let me just say, I respect you, V.S. I respect you, T.S. I respect you, S. Hutchinson. I respect you, ATL and, and Promoter Parker. I respect you as well. But we're going to talk about it at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And if you guys want to show up, lay your cards on the table, try to move past this, I'm willing to help. If not, God bless you and shalom. And may your faith be with you. Thank you for watching Religion Wink TV. And my spiritual ears stay.